St. Mary Magdalene. Thanks for tuning in to another weekly video with me, Father Chris. This weekend we celebrate the Ascension. We see the Ascension recorded in the Gospels and in Acts, and we see the Apostles watching as Jesus ascends to heaven and returns to his glory as Christ, the second person of the Most Holy Trinity. But the Ascension is for us, too, a reminder that as followers of Christ, our home is to be with him in heaven one day. So the Ascension is a great, powerful reminder for us that we're meant to become saints. We're made to become holy so that we can share in that eternal life with Christ in heaven. And so what a beautiful feast then that reminds us that like the apostles, we look up and we see the Lord. We see our true home is in heaven and we strive to go there. But also like the apostles, once the angels said, why are you standing around looking up go out you have work to do lead others towards heaven that's our call then to evangelize to share the gospel to witness to the good news of christ in our life so the ascension is both a reminder for us a bolstering of our hope of heaven and a reminder for us too then that we're supposed to help others come along with us to heaven to bring the good news of the gospel of jesus christ to everyone else Next week, too, then, we celebrate Pentecost. So we got some pretty powerful feast days coming up liturgically because then after that, we have Trinity Sunday and then Corpus Christi. So we've got some very powerful Sundays coming up liturgically. And just what great joy to be able to celebrate all of these, all of these feasts that, again, remind us we are made to be with Christ in heaven. And so then, this week, how will you allow the Lord to lead you? How will you allow the Lord to make you more of the saint he desires you to be? How will we allow the Lord to cultivate virtues within us, to chip away some of those bad habits, to walk away from sinful habits and desires or near occasions of sin so that we can choose Christ intentionally, to look towards heaven and to strive to be with God in thought, word, and in action. That's the great glory of the ascension. And so let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we thank you and praise you for this beautiful feast of the ascension of your Son. What is his by nature you bestow upon us through grace and our call to holiness to become saints. I pray for the grace that we may be moved spiritually, intellectually, to become the saints that you've created us to be, to be your sons and daughters forever and to desire heaven. We ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you.